Okay, what's going on? Um, I wanted to do kind of a fireside chat kind of video. Uh, just to update people with the kind of stuff I'm working on. Uh, I know I don't necessarily make it, you know, obvious what I'm doing. Uh, I guess I theoretically have a blog, but I haven't updated it recently. Um, so I, I wanted to throw out a video just sort of telling you what I've been doing and what I'm going to be doing really soon. Now, um, some people who watch my channel really care that I am going to be re... Well, that's a weird way to say it. Some people, uh, some of you guys really care that I am going to be re-releasing LARBs. Um, it's always been sort of a rolling release, but there's going to be a LARBs 2.0. Um, for if you don't know what that is, it's just a, a system I have uh, that really auto-configures uh, a, a kind of Arch Linux setup that's similar to my own that I use on my computer. Um, so I know a lot of you guys use it, a lot of you guys really like it, um, so that's going to be coming out for those of you who do use that or are interested. Uh, but even more than that, uh, part of one of the things I wanted to add on that I think everyone can sort of benefit from um, is I've been, think I've been working out basically tutorials. Well, here's my idea. Um, in the system, if you're a total novice user and you don't know how to use this particular program, I wanted to have a little interface, a little, uh, well really you can just make a bash script that runs a dmenu command and it gives you a couple options of the different programs that are in the system. You can select which one you want to know about and it basically, it's easy enough to make it stream a YouTube video. So if you want to learn how to use Ranger, in uh, LARBs, you can just you know select Ranger, and it'll actually stream a video from my YouTube site. So that's generally my idea. So what I'm going to do is actually have a a, a kind of it's not even a rehashing, but a, a series of videos on like every single program uh, that I use that are part that's a part of LARBs, that's a part of my system, how I have them configured, not just how the program works in general, but how do what kind of like bindings do I actually have. Um, and of course this is, I guess, why people watch the channel anyway, but um, it's going to be especially good for people who use LARBs, uh, but it, it of course is, gives ideas to everyone else who uh, uses the programs. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing that. A lot of it is going to be, well not, not actually a lot, um, there's going to be some rehashing of videos I've done a long time ago, like uh, one of the first videos I put out was actually on Ranger. Uh, which people always ask about, people always want to know more about, but now I'm going to do a, a, a new video on that explaining, you know, how it works in my uh, configurations now. Same thing on, th I mean, even things like uh, i3 blocks. I did a video on i3 blocks just a couple months ago, but my, uh, my setup has actually changed quite a deal, uh, quite a great deal in, uh, you know, the ensuing months. So I wanted to, I mean, the thing about most of the videos I do on programs are like, I've been using it for a couple weeks, uh, I really like it, I want to show people the kind of things you can do with it, um, but as more and more time passes, I actually refine that even more, but sometimes I don't actually want to put out a video on it just because um, it seems like I'm just retreading old ground. But uh, with these videos made for LARBs, I think that um, there's a good reason to actually throw everything out uh, again, even if that means like rehashing some things I've already talked about. For a lot of the, I mean, you know, 90% of my viewers have not seen my older videos, uh, probably more than 90% actually. So even if it was, if it was just pure repetition, sorry, the cat is doing something weird over there. Even if it was just pure repetition, it wouldn't matter. So that's that. Um, additionally, some other things, I mean, in my more personal life, I guess, again, um, so I'm in a position in my life where uh, the next year, I still haven't really decided where I'm going to be living. Um, I'm looking at a couple apartments and different cities in Georgia and, and possibly Tennessee. Um, so I, I still haven't totally decided where I'm going to live. I, of course, am dissertating. I'm writing a dissertation. And there's really no requirement where I have to live. And I'm actually in a, a, an interesting part of my life in that like, I have so many opportunities that um, you get to the point where you don't even want to make a decision because no matter what kind of decision you make, you're going to be, you know, losing opportunities in the fact that you're pursuing something as opposed to everything else. So I'm sort of procrastinating things, but you know, I'm still getting things done in the meantime. Now, one of my longer term goals, of course, if you have been watching the channel for a while or see my posts elsewhere, um, is, you know, I really want to buy some land of my own. Um, you know, I, I've been actually looking at a whole bunch of parcels, mainly in Tennessee, but some in Georgia as well. Um, where I can get a couple acres of land just to have for myself and 
you know, maybe, you know, build a cabin, build other things on it, uh, just to have something that belongs to me and is permanent and I don't have to worry about rent or anything else. Uh, that's something I'm definitely willing to use money on. So I've been doing a lot of research recently in, you know, what, a, what kind of construction I need to do and stuff like that. Uh, just to really have a place where I don't have to, uh, you know, again, have, have a place that's going to last that isn't going to cost me that much money. I mean, when you really think about it, you know, own, buying a parcel of, of land for a couple acres in a semi-rural environment is, sometimes can cost just as much as maybe three years of rent somewhere. You know what I mean? Or, you know, how much of a year of education costs in this country. Um, so, you know, that, that's one of the things that, I don't, anyway, I just want to have my money going to something good. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, I still, I still am employed by the University of Arizona nominally. Uh, they don't particularly pay me that much because I'm a graduate student. Uh, so I am sort of looking for other jobs and stuff like that. Uh, or at least if they, I'm not actively, but, you know, I'll throw out an application to a community college every once in a while. Um, but, uh, I mean, if anyone's watching this and wants to offer me a job, you're free to. Um, but, um, yeah, so, like, linguistics and psychology and sometimes even English positions, but uh, po possibly even something related to computers, I don't know, I guess. I don't have any, again, I don't have formal qualifica uh, you know, qualifications in uh, computer science or something like that, but, you know, maybe the YouTube channel counts for something, you would hope. Um, so, anyway... Uh, I guess I'm sort of rambling now, but that, that's about it. Um, there are a couple other thoughts that I'll just throw out. I have been thinking of doing um, a podcast or something uh, sort of like that just because uh, I'd like to put out, I'd like to have another sort of mode of putting information and stuff like that out. Um, the thing is, if I do do a podcast, well, there are two problems. Uh, firstly, uh, I wouldn't want to do it alone, I'd want to do it with someone else, uh, but I don't particularly, there's no one out there right now, and this, sound, this might sound a little arrogant, but there's no one out there uh, I can really, I really feel like, oh yeah, I could definitely do a podcast with this guy or something like that. Um, so I'm still sort of searching, I might run across someone in my real life um, that, you know, is open to it. Uh, and the other thing is, I don't, if I do do a podcast, it's not going to be about, about Linux. Um, I don't care about Linux or computers enough to... Uh, yap about it for hours on end, so that wouldn't happen. Uh, I mean, I might tangentially talk about it or something like that, but um, I don't think it's a particularly... I don't really care that much about computers. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, that, that's about it, so um, I guess I'm in the position of the video where I have to like bring it to a close, but uh, yeah, I'll just turn it off. See you guys next time. <laughs>